with Rico and Kayla is about to go live online. Catch All Out Monster Hit Music, All Out Celebrity Interviews, All Out Showbiz and Sports News, All Out Fun, an exclusive on The Monster. Catch the stream on The Monster Facebook page at RX931, The Monster YouTube channel at RX931, and twitch.tv slash monsterrx931. Your All Out hosts, Rico Robles and Kayla Rivera. Stand by and enjoy the program. Another one. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kayla. Hi, How are you? Well, at this, we're going to jump into your world today about yeah. musicals and theaters and all that. And uh, this guy is actually, we first, well, this is his first time on the show, but the first time um, we're going to be, well, we heard of him was when he actually took over the show Pinoy Pop Superstar Season 2 mm-hmm. in 2006, winning it yeah. all together. Right. Took it home. Right, and then from there he was dubbed as the Prince of Ballad in 2013. He's been releasing some albums here and there, but this time around he is part of the movie Mama Sapano, and also he is uh, part of uh, let's just say the play Miss Saigon, mm-hmm. and he's gonna be what 2023 on the world tour, ladies and gentlemen. First time on the show, give it up for Gerald Santos. Hey, Gerald. Hey. Hi, Gerald. Grand reveal. Hello, hello, Rico. Hello, Kayla. Hello. Hello to all our viewers and listeners. Hi. How you doing? Kamusta? How's everything? I'm good, man. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, it's my first time. So, wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you for, for having me here. And thank you for joining us because I know you're currently on tour mm-hmm. uh, with the yes, musical that yes. you're doing. I will. So where are you right now? Where are you joining us from? Uh, actually, right now, I'm in Batangas. And mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're, uh, we just finished yung, uh, yung show namin ng I Will sa Caloocan Sports Complex. And then sa December, we will be doing ano naman, sa North naman, sa Bulacan area naman. Mm-hmm. So before and, I fly for Miss Saigon. Yeah, in and Denmark. to do the scale of a, of a theater play or a show na para bang it, it sort of caters to the different <laughs> cities and a different barangays, it's really nice, you know? I mean, from performing to the Miss Saigon stage to bringing it to like the Kaloocan and the theater, yeah. it's supposed to show the love for the craft. Pag ganun, Ano yung challenge? Ano yung difference? I know the grander production, pero ano yung difference? And uh, what delights you? What keeps you going back on stage? Bale, uh, yun nga eh. Uh, at least I'm really happy I, I get to enjoy both worlds. Alam mo yun, yung, yung really grand na production na sa Miss Saigon. And then when I'm here, I get to do ito mas simple, but uh, na maganda rin naman na show. Uh, tapos, kumbaga, the challenge is yung, syempre, maraming adjustments in terms of sa, sa kumbaga, yung, syempre, very simple lang talaga to eh, itong production na to. Like, right mm-hmm. now, itong touring, itong touring version namin ng I Will The Musical, it's really very simple. It, uh, it caters sa mga students, sa mga high school students, college. So, uh napaka ano lang kumbaga very humble production lang uh mm-hmm. tapos uh, at least but before before naman kasi i i started with Gantimpala Theater Foundation so i'm used to really <clears throat> doing this kind of production yung ano lang yung napaka simple lang and then yeah get to experience naman din yung uh, yung uh, big productions I, I got to do a show also with Atlantis yeah na Kayla diba mm-hmm. <laughs> yep we got Right before, yeah, that was right before the pandemic. But I was going to actually ask you, Carol. <clears throat> I mean, you're on tour now. And then at the same time, you're also going to be going back to Miss Saigon in a role that you've already played before. How do you keep yeah. it fresh? You know, you, you do so many of the same shows. What do you do mm. to keep it fresh? Uh, it's just a matter of, uh, of really digging in and uh, just uh, finding... Uh, more interesting things about the character like uh, for for example kumbaga sometimes i i naglalaro ako minsan eh kapag uh, meron meron akong gustong ataking gawin na ikakaiba mm-hmm. i would do it actually and then dito naman kasi sa Miss Saigon they always have uh, a resident director na nagbabantay so kapag hindi nila gusto 
<laughs> they would always advise you na to go back dun sa dun sa gusto nilang atake na na gusto mong gawin nila. Gusto mong like, gawin nila. They're like, girl, no. He does not do that. <laughs> Stay there. Let's bring it back to what you auditioned for. It's that kind of moment. Um, right? Parang ganun. Uh, like, but with the British people, they're like very, you know, bag- bago sila, bago sila makarating to the point, talagang very, ano sila, very polite. And, ano, <laughs> talagang, mm. Gerald, what, what you did was good, but uh, can we do it uh, just like the last time? <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're just like that. And then for this one naman sa Denmark, uh, actually, it's gonna be in Danish. So I'm, mm-hmm. curr- I'm currently learning uh, Danish language ngayon. Um, they, they gave me a, a Danish teacher. So I'm sure magiging very different itong atake nito kasi binigyan din nila ako ng, ano, yun, ng back translation in English and medyo iba siya. So mas maiiba naman siya and I'll always be on my toes with this one because uh, mm-hmm. I don't know anything about the language. So I really have to be on my toes all the time. Can, can you imagine, okay, Kayla, and everybody tuned in, from Pinoy pop superstar where you did compete and where you did start <laughs> and you did win. Competitive pa din hanggang ngayon. You're not, you know, you're not, I'm putting some slack. Oh, I got my albums. I'm getting paid. I'm on a chill. now. he likes to take on the challenge. But for you, man, you know, when you were starting out, when you did join the singing contest, what were the competition like? I mean, with you coming from Navotas, a humble singing school there, and then pursuing mm. it to compete, how was the preparation like? Oh yeah, I I'm sure Kayla ano can relate with this one because uh, <laughs> nag competition din siya, no? uh, mm. At that time, I'm I'm really lucky because I was very young. I started mm. when I was 15 years old, so really my goal was just to share the talent uh, God uh, has given me tapos uh, to to relay the message of the songs uh but but of course yung kasi yung pinoy pop superstar at that time it, it ran for one year so you mm-hmm. really have to be always good then dahil weekly we we do have mall shows we do have uh, mga promote tours, yun, uh, eh, bayan bayan yes so oh, manual non para kami yes, ano right? we're like politicians at that time <laughs> because that was 2006 so wala pang online masyado so we have to do everything manually so ito radio radio shows we do radio shows weekly magkakasama yan so and kasama yon sa judging part actually yung mm-hmm. kasi na test dun yung character namin yung yung attitude namin towards work uh, grabe yung disiplina na 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 na, na, na instill sa akin ng competition but i uh, i would say i i enjoyed it uh, generally kasi mm-hmm. i was just uh, i was just really having fun and i just want to sing i just want to i just really wanted to sing at that time in yung pakiramdam ko nun. and but nung syempre nung nung nagiging intense na yung yung competition mas lumalapit na yung grand finals medyo may kaba na kinakabahan na yun ay dumating na yung point na nagkakasakit ka because of the stress mm-hmm. dahil napapaisip ka din kahit bata pa ako nun. but i was able to pull it off so i'm i'm thankful about that and of course, the show's um, product on season one, it was Sarah Geronimo, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, no, uh, season one was uh, Jonah, Jonalyn Viray. Jonalyn Viray. Oh, Pero before yes. that, it was a Sarah, Sarah. Geronimo, the, yes. the Regine mm. Velasquez show. I remember that. And that's like sort yes. of a fantastic bar that you guys have to set. I'll be the next Sarah Geronimo. We're going to name one. Grab it, grab it. Super, right. super. <laughs> uh-huh. you can imagine. And then with you winning the competition, what happened next? Okay, so you won the competition. Is it a recording contract? How was life like? Okay, I'm the winner. People lining mm. up in front of my house. How did life change for mm. you from there? Wow. Uh, speaking of that, actually, it was uh, such a crazy experience at that time. Because, ano eh, uh, hindi, hindi ako sanay. Kasi kami, uh, like you, ma bro, you're from Malabon and I'm from Navotas, magkapit bahay tayo. We're, we're, we're used to, you know, we're used to like uh, living just, ano, uh, yung simple life. Napakasimple lang natin eh. So, nanibago talaga ako no, when I won because, yeah, ang daming tao lagi sa labas ng bahay namin, 
I would always have visitors, mga fans, supporters, dumadalo sa bahay. Uh, I remember noon kasi uh, I I did right away after noon. Nagkaroon ako ng teleserye with uh, mm-hmm. Julina Bagdangal and Marvin Agustin. I, meron akong may SOP. Tapos mm-hmm. meron pa akong hosting stints at that time. So sobrang, it was overwhelming. It was mm-hmm. really overwhelming. Tapos, uh, that, eh, syempre, tao lang naman tayo. So that time, syempre kapag kauwi ako sa bahay, I, I just wanted to be alone. I have I have my alone time, alam mo. But tapos minsan darating ka, ang daming pang entertain sa bahay. Hindi naman dahil ayaw ko silang nandun. But then, kasi dun sa studio, sometimes nandun na din sila. So mm-hmm. yun yung medyo ang hirap i-cope before, nung time na yun. But, but then, uh, I realized talaga na yan, as a public figure, Uh, you really have to be more patient uh, with them talagang uh, and i'm thankful na they really supported me up until now uh, grabe grabe yung mga panahon na yun talagang bising busy ka tapos ayan uh, ang dami mong dapat uh, i-please ng mga tao see it's normal because you know it, it was viral online recently kayla remember everybody that they're ta- they're sharing james reed na may nagpi-picture mm-hmm. daw sa class niya tapos binebenta It's yeah. true in those times. Kasi walang social media pa no. Yes, It was yes, like mismo. You were seen on TV. People go crazy. And I could imagine your house. Mismo. And it, when it came yeah. to like voting and texting, mm-hmm. in Kamanaba area is number one when it comes to voting. <laughs> Marami mo mo vote dyan when it comes yes, to Yes, yes. Kasi yun na yung pinaka way nila to really to support, support you. you. Yeah. And totoo yan. Noong time din na yan, talagang uh, hindi naman sa pagano. Talaga when I go to to a mall, mm-hmm. talagang dudumugin ka talaga. Yung time mm-hmm. na 'yon, naranasan ko 'yon when <laughs> yung yung uso pa na kami mga artist naka hoodie, tapos mm-hmm. naka cap pa pag pupunta ng mall, tapos naka shades. <laughs> Kasi nagtatago ka talaga dahil uh, pag nakilala ka, may isang mga, 'di ba ganun pa naman sa atin 'di ba pag may isang nakakilala sa iyo. Oh, si Jera, si Jera, si Jera. Pag narinig na ng iba 'yon, susugurin ka na ng ano, but pero <laughs> ngayon na na nag-iba na yung panahon eh. hindi na ganoon so uh, marami na silang means yung mga fans yung mga supporters to to really get in touch with you so ewan siguro uh, may mga ganun pa rin instances no na talagang pinagkakaguluhan sa mall pero i i do experience that before tapos kapag kakakain ka sa restaurant Uh, kinukunan ka habang kumakain ka. <laughs> Naranasan ko yan. <laughs> oh, nangyayari Susubuka. Oh. Nangyayari rin yan. Pero titignan lang ngayon kung nagbabayad ka o hindi. <laughs> <laughs> diba? so oh. yeah, for those who are tuning in, of course, you have Gerald Santos. He is going to be talking about his latest movie. Um, Amasapa now. So tell us about this. You know, we didn't have Paolo the other time here. All about this movie. Mm-hmm. Now, for you, from musicals, to doing movies i mean you know tell us your role here and uh, tell us how what you do to prepare for it uh, for this one it's uh yan masapano now it can be told it's part of our uh, mmff uh, 2022 and so i'm i'm really uh, honored and privileged to be to be part of this movie so i hope i masuportahan yan ng lahat ng mga Uh, viewers and listeners natin sa December 25. So for this one, I play the role of Christopher Lalan. He's the lone survivor of uh, SAP 44. Um, lone survivor siya nung, kasi dalawang uh, companies, dalawang batalyon yung sumugo dun sa Mama Sapano for that operation. And uh, Christopher Lalan is uh, the lone survivor of uh, dun sa 55th Special Action Company. Dun sa pangalawang batalyon. So siya lang yung yung lone survivor and he, and he got to tell yung story uh, kung ano yung nangyari but then uh, the the main character is yung character ni Edu Manzano uh, hmm. he he plays the role of uh, General Benjamin Magalong ayan siya yung nagna-narrate and nagkukuwento nung mga nangyari because this movie is about the BOI report na ginawa niya at that time hmm. yung Bureau of Inquiry All right, so we're going to take a look at the ad. All right, we're going to take a look at the, the, um, the trailer for the movie online, on air. We're going to play you guys a song. Coming up, for those that are tuned in, more of Gerald Santos. Is he dating somebody? What's next in store for him, especially for 2023? Keep it locked in here on The Monster.
All right, let's check out the trailer. Here we go. Uh, we are checking out the trailer for the movie. Mama Sapano, of course, December 25th. It's when this uh, movie is coming out. I promise you, this time, my men will get Usman and Marwan. I'm sure you're aware the may ongoing peace process between the government and the Muslim rebels. The mission was always to get Marwan dead or alive. Bulapog na natin ang buong mama sa apa, no? May mga hostal sa inyo! Fortunately, paglabas ng mga bata natin doon sa lungga niya, doon na nagkalechi-lechi ang lahat. Pero ang gusto namin malaman sa'yo is why our men were not able to get out of there alive. Walang pakialam ang rebelde kung police operation yung ginawa ninyo. Policeman o militar. Parehong may paril at nakapati. Emergency! Pindang kami dito sa Maisan! Ano? Bakit hindi pa kayo umaalis dyan? Walang magliling sa atin! No order means a standout. He made the choice to have those men die. Kinayaan mo kami mahubos dahil mas importante sa iyo ang peace process mo. Ismayado ang Pangulo sa findings ng BOI report na nagsasabing malaki ang pananagutan nito sa malagim na pagpaslang sa SA-44 sa mamasapan ng Maguindanao at ang malalim na sugat na iniwan nito sa liderato ng PNP. From sunrise to sunset, the SAF were target practice for the rebels. Magsisiyan na lang po tayo lahat na nandito ngayon. Huwag lang po natin sisisiyan ang mga taong nagbuhis ng buhay nila sa mga masapan mo. Justice is all that I ask for. Not only for my husband, but for everyone who fought and fell. Reminds you of the movie Glory, right? Mga tipong Last Samurai. Diba? Galing. Congratulations, yeah, man! Congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you, thank fans. you. Yeah, it's a, it's an epic movie actually. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be great. It's um, it's uh, parang Hollywood yung dating niya nung nung movie. And I'm sure our audiences uh, missed itong ganitong classic movie yung action. So mm-hmm. they they get to see this on December December twenty five, diba? All right, so we'll get everybody to for the invites. Here we go. We'll go back on the radio, but online, we're forever on. Hello to all your fans. Here we go. Hi, uh, hello, hello, everybody. Hello to uh, to my team, Gerald Santos. Hello, thank you so much for for tuning in. <laughs> Gerald Santos joining us. Uh, of course, so many fans of his that are here. They're joining us online, but we did get to see the trailer. Of the movie, Mama Sapa. Now, you know, pag mga project na niya, ano takeaway mo for you? Um, when you did the role, when you did the movie, is there more future roles like this for you? Are you gonna be in John Wick Four? Is that uh, <laughs> you know, that's one? Actually, the the kid in me, gusto ko talaga even before mag action, parang action um, star, de ba? Yung malala Robin Padilla, alam mo yun, yung yung mga napapanood mo before, mga uh, Rudy Fernandez, yung, yung mga So if if oh, ganun, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Narputik, uh, ganun mga oh, roles. Oh, Narputik, oo, oh, mga uh, Cesar Montano, mga ganun. So uh well, I, I would love to do more more of uh, this kind of ano, uh, of movies ano, uh, if given the opportunity. Actually, itong movie opportunities, pumasok lang siya no mag-pandemic. No mag-pandemic, I I got to do a movie with uh, Claudine Barreto noong 2020, yeah. With uh, Buracha Film Productions also, mm-hmm. so uh, I'm really thankful for the opportunity that they gave me. And and ito for the second time, binigyan uli nila ako tung tung mama sapano. So thank you so much, uh, Attorney Ferdito Pasho, for for the trust. Mm-hmm. I was gonna actually ask Gerald, like, how is the experience, you know, doing acting on film, acting in theater? What's the difference? Which one do you enjoy more? What adjustments <sighs> did you have to make? Uh Well, I, I, for now, I would say, like uh, in sa mood ko, my in my current mood, I, I enjoy uh, doing movies more. <laughs> uh, mm. Although, although, ano siya, talagang very time consuming. Kasi ang, mm-hmm. usually, sometimes may, may araw na papatawag ka ng 10, masusot ka 8pm na, ganun. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, 
uh, I love uh, the fact na yung ang iniintindi ko lang yung pag-internalize ko lang ng character and yung uh, how how will I immerse myself dun sa dun sa situation and dun sa character. And hmm. ang dami ko natututunan actually acting in uh, yan in films in theater. Uh, I remember uh, noong 2020 when I did the movie with uh, Claudine Barreto. Uh, ang director namin doon si Derek Joel Lamangan na kilala naman natin ang, ang reputation ni Derek oh, Joel yeah. talagang very strict. So at that time medyo wala pa akong idea sa movie. So although I did before pero syempre nakalimutan ko na uh, the last movie I did was like 2016. So medyo nakalimutan ko na. So napapagalitan niya ako doon lagi because my acting was too big daw. It was too big. So I'm sure Kayla you know you know that, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Kasi theater, theater. So ano lang daw. So just uh, just keep it in, dapat inside lang, ano lang, internal lang kapag ka sa movies. So mm-hmm. yun yung yun yung so I always have this like a switch kapag ka theater, okay, theater mode on. Kapag ka kapag ka movies ano lang very natural yun yun yung yun yung malaking difference talagang sa movie isa napakalit na nuances makikita because it's on a big screen ayun Gerald here's a question are you open to doing alam mo naman ngayon sobrang uso yung mga titillating movies very sexy oh. are you, are you open to that what if there's a musical version of that are you open <laughs> to doing i mean uso yun I, eh? wow oh, actually Yeah, uh, it it depends. It depends, pa din kung if if the if the script is really good, if it's mm-hmm. worth it. Uh, I'm I'm willing. I'm more than willing to do to do sexy. Pero may limitation, sure. May limitation sa kon. Di naman all out. <laughs> well, Dito lang ako mago all out sa show niya. <laughs> all out, yeah. yeah about. Okay, so again, uh-huh. the, the people of Viva Max, CS Open. To matured roles. Direct, ready na mag-matured roles si Gerald. Oh, okay. na. Pagbalik ko, direct. Pagbalik ko po, galing Denmark. Ano na. Open na po ako for <laughs> mature roles. Madami na go-OMG, no? Madami. <laughs> yung mga Kat Novi. Di ba? Yung mga, yung mga, oh, yeah. mga asay. Oh. <laughs> But invite everybody once again, of course, your future projects for 2023 as well. Ayun, I'm inviting you all to watch Mama Sapano. Now it can be told on December 25, it's part of The Metro Manila Film Festival 2022, produced by Buracho Film Productions by Attorney Ferdi Tupasho. Thank you so much again for for the trust, uh, for entrusting me the role of Christopher Lalan. And uh, currently, we're doing I Will the Musical. It's about the life of uh, Doc Willie Ong and Dr. Aliza Ong. Uh, please, uh, abangan nyo kami dyan sa Bulacan area on December Uh, wala pa kaming definite na dates but definitely uh, please do follow me sa aking mga social media accounts na lang so you 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 will be updated sa sa schedules uh, it's at the Gerald Santos on Instagram and Twitter and on Facebook it's facebook.com slash the Ballad Prince official and I do have TikTok also Team Gerald Santos and ano pa ba ayon uh, please do uh, pray for me for my for my another Uh, European journey on Miss Saigon, Denmark. I'll fly on December and then we will start our shows in February until June next year. So I'll, play, I'll be playing the role of Tui again uh, for mm-hmm. Miss Saigon, Denmark. So Gerald, thank you very much. Don't forget, uh, large the t-shirt, size 10 the shoes. Kayla, anong size? <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, para pagbalik ka ng Denmark, <laughs> sure ball. Have a holiday, a great holiday season for you. What's your mm-hmm. holiday plans as well? Oh, I won't be here on Christmas and New Year. I'll be in Denmark na. Mm-hmm. So it'll so, be a snowy, snowy Christmas. Yeah, snowy Christmas. Very cold. Inaabang ang dalawa nila yung malalamig. Inaabang ang dalawa nila yung tiktak mo dito. <laughs> Ayun, Team Gerald Santos. De, uh, ano, makita niyo na din yung ano. Uh, very soon, I'll do ano na, mga uh, mga dance steps na sa TikTok. Naks. <laughs> All right. Hey. Something to look for. And, and your Christmas, malamig ba? Warm? What is it? Lukewarm or hot or cold? I would say lukewarm naman. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. So, okay. Uh, A dating? Normal. 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 <laughs> 
Jimmy's Miss Carolina. But you know, thank you very much, thank Cheryl. You, Cheryl. You take care. Thank okay? you, bro. Thank you, Rico. Right. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up once again for Gerald Santos. Bye, Gerald. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Mama Sapano, of course, the movie. December 25th. It is uh, Film Fest season already as uh, the holiday season is already here. We'll yeah. have more of your favorite celebrities do join us. And thank you guys for taking time to watch us. Once again, my name is Chico Robles. I'm Kayla Rivera. This has been another Monster Exclusive Interview. Monster Exclusive Interview. Monster Exclusive Interview. Only from Manila's Honest. Monster RX 93.1.